today I'd like to talk about black box that you did not know about. Event Data Recorder EDR But first, let's take a look at some history of testing. Since early days, Mercedes engineers used to crash cars, hit vehicles of the same size, hit them with a different size or even drop them upside down as they still do today and they were trying to understand what happens during the crash and guys those people were very smart just look at their faces well I'm not sure about this guy he looks a little lost to me. and at that time they start using human like dummies as they still do today, which are much more improved. They look like men, like women, like kids, side airbags, front airbags, every possible scenario. But the real question still remains. What exactly happens during the actual crash? Let's take a look at real life example with the girl named Lisa. One day Lisa was driving her Mercedes home and then she crashed. In this case, nobody knows who's right and who is wrong. It's one word against another. Scott is the guy who was involved in the accident with Lisa suggested that Lisa was probably texting while driving because she never hit brakes and probably didn't even wear seatbelt. So the reason she never stopped the car is because she was probably texting while driving. Doug agreed with Scott because he was the third guy involved in the accident because there were three cars involved in the crash. Scott and Doug accuse Lisa of reckless driving and that's two against one. One of the Lisa's friends worked at the local Mercedes-Benz dealership and he gave her an excellent advice to extract data from event data recorder to see exactly what happened during the crash. Now Lisa's lawyer presents the extracted EDR data where it shows the position of the seat belt and gas pedal and also brake pedals. Contrary to the Scott and Doug statements, Lisa was pressing the brake pedal and she was also buckled up. So definitely she wasn't texting and driving. At that point Lisa's credibility went up and eventually she won the case. And now let's take a look at privacy because a lot of people saying Big Brother is watching every move I make. So let's look at purpose and privacy. EDR records data only during the actual crash or crash-like situations. 
does not record all other times and records for about 30 seconds or less and it has to be triggered by something big like airbag deployment or sudden brakes or road obstacles and no personal info is recorded so EDR doesn't know your name, age, location, etc. Event data recorder records the following if the driver and passenger safety belts were buckled how fast the driver was going if all pedals were depressed and all other safety systems how they behaved Do you drive Mercedes? Then please visit our website mbzmaster.com where you can find a lot of information just to look around. You can also visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mbzmaster. And then click on videos and you can find a lot of videos mostly about Mercedes. Please subscribe while you're there. And the question of today, what subject would you like to see in my upcoming Mercedes-Benz video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And remember, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, it helps me a lot to make more videos like this one. <laughs>